What's up dudes? My name is Nick. Welcome back for another news video. In this one we're going to be talking about the news report that I saw on Sumpi first primarily. Um, talking about the fact that both show of the shows, The Unit and Mix9, potentially are not fairly compensating people who are involved with the show. Namely, contestants. At least that's what the headline of the article says. But uh, there are other people who are associated with those shows who are somewhat affected. So, get it started with just a little bit of the rundown of the allegations and the complaints that people are leveling against both of the shows. First off, for Mix9, contestants haven't gotten paid yet, apparently, and they don't even know how much they will receive because there is not a set amount of compensation for each of the contestants for each episode that they participate in, which is obviously very, con which, you know, you would be concerned about that. Um, a source from an agency for that of a contestant that is on the unit specifically is quoted as saying the production staff hasn't said a word about the appearance fee even if you look at the contract there is no amount specified for the appearance fee right that's also very very concerning about that because that you know clearly makes it really easy for them to not pay the contestants because it's not actually contractually agreed upon which we got a lot to talk about in that regard but you know there's something like that to, to talk about um we had a music producer who's quoted as saying, and I don't know which in association to which show this is, this is, but um, producers quoted as saying, producers sometimes wonder amongst themselves as well. No one knows about the appearance fee. The production staff has never even asked for the bank account number, right? Which that's also concerning on a couple of levels and for a couple of reasons. And got a lot to talk about that one too. Um, you know, and, and that's, you know, really the, I think the, the hef, the, the biggest part of it, um, you know, of course, some of the, some of the, the companies don't necessarily care about the appearance fees because obviously the promotion is much better than actually getting, you know, monetarily compensated for that. So that's perfectly fine. If they're, if they're okay with not getting paid, then that's fine because if they think the exposure is, is worth that, then all of that kind of thing. But you know, of course, the, the the concerning thing with the fact that compensation is not mentioned in contracts is definitely concerning. The fact that um, even producers, production staff, and stuff like that who are involved in either of these shows also don't have any idea how they're getting paid is pretty concerning. But, you know, it, it's definitely, I think, really, really kind of valid to criticize and be like, yo, that's kind of shady that you're really not being very clear with how these people are getting paid. But we're just going to start off with the biggest reaction, the most immediate reaction that I've got to this news. And that is really like, why are you letting them take advantage of you by signing contracts that don't outline how you're going to get paid or what you're going to get paid? Like, does anybody read these contracts? You know, like seriously, people complain all the time. You know, fans complain all the time about how, you know, K-pop takes advantage of idols and all this other stuff. And yet here you are, you've got people who are in the business, right? You've got representatives for companies sending their perform sending their idols to, com to, to participate in shows. And they're signing contracts that don't have any sort of clauses in there as to what the, what, what the compensation is going to be. Like, you know, going going back to the producers of like the production staff have never asked for the bank account number. Like you would think that when you read your contract and you don't see like a bank account number specified in there or you don't see any sort of language in there that kind of says like, hey, we're going to pay you out of this bank account on this day. You know, blah. there's nothing that explains any of that. Like you wouldn't ask a question before you sign that contract. Like you just blindly sign the contract and then you're like, oh, hold on a second. I don't know how I'm going to get paid. I don't know how much I'm going to get paid. This is concerning. Like, I'm sorry, but that's your fault that you're not getting paid, you know, because you signed a bad contract, you know, and it, it, I know it's really, really shitty to, to be like, you know, it sucks to like not read your contract and let yourself get taken advantage of like that. I know it's really kind of cold hearted, but, you know, you're in you're in business like it, it, this is the way things go, you should know this, especially if you're working in within the K-pop industry, like you should know that things are shady and you have got to stand up for yourself a little bit as best you can to get yourself the best deal. Like YG Entertainment or, or 
who's who's doing the unit is it mnet somebody like that they're always gonna go like they're always the first contract that they're gonna send you like and this is like this applies for like any business deal the first contract that somebody sends you is going to be something that is going to get the most return for the company who sends that contract right and it's up to the person who is going to sign that contract to read it and either accept it or reject it and also negotiate that contract and if you don't if you don't look at your contract and you don't read the contract and you don't negotiate the contract for things you know to kind of improve areas that you don't like to make them more in your favor then i'm sorry but that's pretty dumb that's really really dumb and so i don't i mean like if if you sign a contract and and then you complain that you're not getting paid because it doesn't say in the contract that you're going to get paid then i don't really think that you have much of a much grounds to to stand on or really you don't have any you don't have much backing to complain about that because it's solely your fault you let yourself get taken advantage of because you signed that contract end of story now is it shady and is it bad that you know yg entertainment and i'm gonna say mnet are are the ones sending out those contracts that don't actually say anything about who's getting paid and how you're getting paid absolutely it is and that's definitely something that should be changed and should be kind of regulated potentially or or something like that needs to be done to kind of ensure that people who are that you know idols and contestants of these shows in particular you know are getting compensated for their time you know and this applies to anything that idols do whether they're making radio show appearances or appearing on you know music shows or you know whatever it is that they need to do that is like outside of their contractual obligations to their company because of their you know all of that kind of stuff then they need to be you know adequately compensated for that Um, But when it comes to people who are making these decisions, who know how all this works, I would hope, um, and they read these contracts and they say, yep, that's perfectly fine. That doesn't say anything about how we're getting paid and all that stuff, then that kind of sucks. But there shouldn't be contracts that lack that, you know, that, that, um, that language to, to begin with. I don't, I think that it should be required, which is going to be kind of hard to do that, I think, but it should be required to actually your 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 initial contract should always have you know methods of payment and amounts that you're going to get compensated it should be required and you know the fact that it's not it obviously i think is a really bad thing and should be kind of changed and worked to improve but it's not going to improve going back to kind of what i just ranted on previously if companies blindly sign these contracts not really caring about compensation um you know, and and I get the whole you know going going back to the to the to the um, you know example of 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 companies who don't care about the appearance fee. So let's quote. Let's read this quote because this is this is glorious. Um, quote from uh, one of the agencies says the appearance fee fee was not our goal from the beginning. Honestly, we are not sure if it's true or not about the appearance fee. We didn't even pay attention to that part of the contract. You didn't even pay attention to that part of the contract. Like, who doesn't read the contract, especially when you're entering a business deal, who doesn't read the contract from start to finish, who doesn't get lawyers to read your contract from start to finish so that they can point out stuff that, you know, maybe you can't understand from all of the, you know, legal talk that's included in that contract. Who does that? That's just absolutely horrid business right there. Like, I cannot believe that that is actually a thing. Like, I really can't, you know, and it honestly upsets me a little bit to that these are the people that are representing idols and that, you know, the idols aren't the ones that are that are reading these contracts and signing off on it. It's the companies that are doing that. So it's just stupid. And then, of course, you know, again, going going back to all this stuff, why wouldn't you want compensation for that? I mean, I don't understand why you wouldn't get wouldn't necessarily want like a little bit of compensation. Even if it's just something that's like we're going to cover costs of you know having of sending you're going to just pay for the gas money that it's going to cost us to drive our idol to your studio to you know to to do this like even if it's fifty bucks because they're staying in dorms at YG like it doesn't matter I would be like cover costs at the very least it's just this this whole story is like absolutely baffling to me on like a couple of levels first off which makes sense to me because, you know, business is cutthroat and, you know, you try and take advantage of everyone that you possibly can, um, you know, but I don't understand why they wouldn't kind of, 
you know, try and treat people nicely because if you if you treat people like shit, then they're going to be less likely to work with you in the future. That's just kind of like a th- business and having business relationships or just having relationships in general, whether you're friends with somebody or your business partners. If you treat them like crap, then they're not going to want to work with you. You know, that just is the way it is. And then the other part that's just absolutely and utterly confusing to me are the people that didn't even read the goddamn contract. Like you didn't even read it. You didn't even read it and you signed it anyway because you just didn't care. And apparently th- these shows were just too, being on the show was just too good of an opportunity to pass up. Like it, it's it's a fucking disaster and a train wreck on on multiple levels, this this whole thing, to be completely honest. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous i i mean i i can't i cannot believe that this is actually a thing and that you know both sides are complicit in in this to be completely honest like everybody's a bad guy except for the idols because they're the innocents that are caught in the crossfire to be completely honest um yeah that's it's just it's outrageous absolutely outrageous so that's all that i've got to say about this um a little little rant um what have you got to say? That's really all that I've got. I don't I don't have a question for this video. I normally would, but I don't for this one. So um, hopefully you kind of, I mean, I would kind of hope, or at least me, me personally, because it's my point of view, I'd hope that you're also like equally outraged about this. But you know, if you're not, that's perfectly fine too. And no matter what it is that you guys think about this news story here, I want to I want to hear your thoughts and all that stuff down in the comment box below. So definitely go share that. Go share your opinion. Don't worry about what I think. Don't worry about me agreeing with you or disagreeing with you because I really really do want to hear what people have got to say on this on this whole situation. So leave your comments down below. Um, this community that we're trying to build here is all about having some free and open discussion about our thoughts and opinions, no matter what they are. So if that's a community that you guys are interested in becoming a part of, then please do consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time.